welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we are doing a KFC mukbang plus another story time. You guys loved my first story time. Y'all have been asking me to do a follow up on that one. So y'all ask, I come through. So we are back with another one. And this one is going to be on my worst day ever. And y'all already know it is with Nugget because Nugget was crazy. And if you don't know who Nugget is, make sure you check out my first story time because I give y'all quite a bit of scoop on Nugget. But just a quick recap, he is the co-worker that I dated when we both worked at McDonald's. This was quite a while back when I was in high school and I will give y'all kind of a good timeline once we start the story so y'all kind of know what happened. Let's just get to it. We're gonna head to KFC, order this food, and then we will dive in to the story time. We are now at KFC, but before I hop into the drive through line, I just have to ask you guys, and if y'all are interested in this, you can just skip through this part, but I went and saw the new Spider-Man movie last night, and oh my freaking gosh, where my Marvel fans at? Where you at? Where you at? Let me know. Drop a spider emoji in the comments. This spider emoji right here, drop it in the comments if you are a Marvel nerd like me, because holy effing oh my gosh that spider-man movie was so freaking good this is the third tom holland spider-man movie <sighs> can we just talk about it i don't want to spoil anything but oh my gosh it was so good so freaking good and let me just tell you the energy of our audience in that theater was freaking amazing it honestly makes me want to join a fandom. I've never thought to like join a fan group of Marvel, but I really need to because the energy of the crowd was so freaking amazing. Every time a character, like a key, I don't want to give anything away, but if you have seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. There are very key scenes in the movie, key characters that come on screen and the crowd just goes crazy. And it's just like, oh my gosh, no freaking way. You guys, like, I'm the biggest Marvel nerd ever. Avengers, Iron Man, Guardians of the Galaxy, Spider-Man, Captain America. Oh my gosh, I love it all. I've seen all the movies multiple times. I actually saw the first Spider-Man in the theaters three times. And we are actually going to see the third Spider-Man that just came out again in the movie theaters. I'm gonna buy more tickets. This time we're gonna go to a nicer theater and I think we're gonna see it in IMAX. So, oh, I'm so excited. But yeah, let me know if you are a Marvel fan in the comments. I know this is not related to KFC or the story time, but I just have to ask because I just love Marvel so much. And honestly, I need people to talk about Marvel with because I'm just like the biggest fan ever I love it so much and yeah I just I need to know like <laughs> where the Marvel nerds at because girl loves her some Marvel okay we're popping into the drive-thru now though there's literally no one here welcome at the KFC Spice Drive number 62 he's a chicken master um, that's okay. Could I just get the three-piece chicken combo with two breasts, one wing? Three-piece, why? Is it chicken only or you want the meal? Could I get the meal with mashed potatoes? All right, we're gonna drink for you. Could I get a lemonade? All right, anything else? Let me take a two cake for dessert. Um, I don't want a dessert, but could I also get the spicy KFC sandwich? Sandwich only, ma'am? Yes, just the sandwich. Okay. And I think that'll be it. Thank you so much, $14 each. Okay, thank you. I'm excited to get into the story time with you guys because y'all were very fascinated with Nugget and it's kind of funny because... Oh, how you doing, ma'am? I'm good, how are you? Uh, you need hot sauce or anything? Oh yes, could I get hot sauce and KFC sauce? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Yeah. We'll up on that right up. Okay, thank you. But yeah, y'all thought <laughs> y'all thought Nugget was so interesting and honestly, I'm not even going to lie, he was very interesting and fascinating back then and a lot of y'all commented and said that you've had like similar experiences or like you worked fast food and you know what I'm talking about, like people in fast food are freaking wild, which they are. <laughs> And I really do miss those days. I miss them so much. All right, y'all, we secured the bag. Hey. Okay, let me find parking and then we will get started. All right, you guys, we are all set up, ready to go, ready to dive into this story time. And I'm very, very sad because they did not give me any hot sauce, nor did they give me KFC sauce. Pretty disappointed about that. I do have a leftover hot sauce back 
from when I did my church's chicken video, so we gonna eat it because I need some sauce. I guess I'm just gonna have to dip my chicken into my mashed potatoes, which I do enjoy, but like I cannot eat dry chicken. I just can't do it. We're gonna take a bite of this chicken sandwich. I love KFC's chicken sandwiches. I think they have the best ones. Luckily, this does have spicy sauce on it already. Mmm, so good. Okay. Mmm, mmm. All right. Woo! Okay, right, let's dive into the story time. The story takes place in October of 2012. We were going to the movies to see Paranormal Activity 4. Um... Keep in mind, this was our very first date. We had been talking for a good six to eight months before he decided to finally take me out on a date. This chicken's really good. Oh my gosh. Seasoned perfectly. And it was hot. Mm, 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 mm. Fabulous. I'm digging the skin today just because I'm so hungry. The skin is definitely hidden. Okay. So, I'm really excited about this date. I, at this point, I am a senior in high school because I graduated summer of 2013. So, this was like the kind of beginning couple months of my senior year. I didn't go on a lot of dates in high school. Like, going out on a date in high school was a big deal for me. So, I was so excited about this date like I was ready for it I was so giddy I made sure that my makeup was to the tens I had on my cutest outfit ever you already know I was excited um he was picking me up so he did eventually find out where I lived which later on, I regretted him finding out where I lived because that's a whole nother story time in itself. Give this video a big thumbs up if you want to hear more stories because I got them. But anyways, so he was picking me up for this date and also keep in mind, like I said before, We lived in a very small town, or at least I didn't even live in town. I lived like in the middle of nowhere on the outskirts. That little tiny town that was close to us, there was no movie theater in that town. So we had to drive 35 minutes to go to the next town over that had a good movie theater in it. So the car ride to get to the movie theaters was already like 35 to 40 minutes. Keep that in mind. So. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I am so excited about this date. And he comes to my house. He picks me up. And I get into his car. I instantly realize that the vibe is off. And this man. I could you not, you guys. His eyes were so red. They were completely glazed over. And I could smell, you know, I could smell a little something, something. I could tell what he was doing. Y'all, this man was blazed. He was 420 blazed out his mind. And I was just like, you have got to be kidding me. Not only did this man puff puff no past my ass he didn't even try to cover it up and when i got into the car you know we exchange our hellos and he goes in for a kiss and he kisses me and it is like the worst taste the worst smell ever it was like a mixture of just bad breath in general and i'm just like are you kidding me 
Like, you couldn't even ask if I wanted to join you? Not that I would have said yes, but at least be considerate of your date. Or at least try to cover it up. But no, no. I'm little Miss Sober Sally sitting in his car. And he wants to be Mr. Chief Keep over here. Like, girl, what? But anyways that was only the start of it you guys that was only the start of it so i do not quite remember the exact car ride very well but like i said my first story time He loved rap music, so I know he played rap like the whole way there. I was just kind of feeling very like, I was still excited to go on the date, but I was low-key kind of pissed that he had smoked before. <laughs> and to me, I just think that's really rude to show up to a date after smoking. Like, you gotta be high for this date with me? Like, what the heck? And like I said, 35 to 40 minute car ride. It was very awkward. We finally get to the movie theaters. And we go up to the ticket. Little concessions. And we decide to see the movie in IMAX. I don't remember if we had predetermined that we were going to see it in IMAX. But I know we saw it in IMAX. And the tickets were like $40. They were like $20 each. Um... He was pissed. <laughs> he was visibly pissed off that he had to pay $40. I don't think I offered to pay for my ticket. I think he had just like went up there and said he wanted two tickets to the Paranormal Activity 4 movie in IMAX. And he just like took the initiative and paid for it, which that was good. That was very nice and gentlemanlike of him. So shout out to that. But he was not happy about paying 40 bucks. And mind you, you can tell he he smoked. Like, he did not use eye drops. He did not try to put some gum in his mouth, a little mint. Like, if he didn't want to brush his teeth, okay, but you could at least throw some gum in your mouth, throw a fresh little minty in there, try to, like, disguise it. But we get into the movie theaters, and... I'm going to be honest, I don't know why we saw the movie in IMAX because Paranormal Activity, if you've seen any of those movies, you know a lot of those movies are just the footage, like, sorry, I'm trying to get the smashed potatoes and chicken, that's a good bite. Um, a lot of the movie is just through camera footage, like, the footage that they have of the house that's like a big portion of the movie and IMAX doesn't quite capture the quality of that so Marvel movies that's what you need to see in IMAX I'm so excited to watch Spider-Man again oh my gosh <laughs> but anyways things start getting bad <laughs> things are getting so bad I don't know if he just was not feeling the movie but he keeps trying to make out with me during the movie and i am not into that at all do not try and make out with me while i'm trying to watch a movie because one we paid 40 dollars well you paid 40 dollars for this movie like, we need to actually see the movie we can make out in your car we can make out any other time we do not need to make out in the in the theater and i am not a big fan of pda I will hold hands with someone. I will like give them a little peck or something, but we are not about to make out in front of other people. I am sorry, but girly don't do that. Girly does not do that. I don't like that. So that, oh, this chicken is hitting today. I don't think I have any more hot sauce, but I have a little bit. Let me try and eat this. Let me try and get a good chunk off this. Oh my gosh, 
look at this chicken you guys <gasps> yes mommy come to my mouth okay anyways so yeah he's trying to make out with me literally the whole time um i'm not having it and again his breath smelled horrible it tasted horrible like i did not like it and he kept trying to like force himself on me like he kept trying to force kisses and i'm like do you not see i don't want to kiss you i'm trying to enjoy the movie like what are you not understanding of that we are on a date like dates are not just about making out <laughs> they're about having a good time together so i think eventually i end up telling him like look i really want to watch this movie can we just like watch it <laughs> And so I think, I want to say eventually, he finally gets the hint that I'm not trying to just make out with him. I actually want to enjoy this movie. And he kind of cuts it out. I remember him still trying to like continue. I don't know. I, what I really remember, you guys, and this is going to sound so creepy. Hold on, let me get a bite of this. Ooh. Mmm. This sandwich is so good. Mm-hmm. Hmm. One thing I distinctively remember is he kept looking at me. And he had this crazy smile. And I remember that smile just was like freaking me out. Plus his breath was smelling horrible. He like his eyes were so glazed over and red. I was so annoyed and frustrated and I was just like, why am I in this situation? Like this is our first date ever and you act like this. Like you smoke before, you don't, you don't even offer. Yeah, he just was giving me the creepiest vibes ever and he kept looking over at me with this like crazy joker smile and i was just like you gotta stop like you got to stop i endure i don't know exactly how long the movie was but i endure about two hours of misery you know i'm trying to enjoy the movie i'm trying to watch it i'm trying to be positive but i have him right beside me being a freaking creep and i'm just like i'm ready for this to end finally the movie ends <laughs> and we leave the movie theaters you know i'm the kind of person where i kind of like to debrief after movies you know let's let's talk about the movie let's you know like did you like it like this part was crazy were you scared you know like that kind of thing i like i like to debrief Homie was not having any of that. I don't think he even paid attention to the movie. And so we get into his car. And again, he was trying to like make out with me once we got back to his car. And at this point, it's pretty late. So we drive back to like our town and i remember he didn't take me straight home because he loved hanging out in those parking lots so i remember him taking me back to the little carpool parking lots that i had talked about in my first story time i feel like it just got even more awkward because he just kept trying to like force himself on me and just kept trying to make out with me and again his breath was just not it sis it was not it so yeah i'm like ready to go home and he is just wanting to like hold me hostage in his car and not go anywhere so eventually <laughs> He finally takes me home and I am so over it at this point. I'm just like nugget Let's just part our ways. We will catch back up at work I will see you at work the next shift. We work together. Just let me debrief on my own 
and I remember after that date happened I'm pretty sure I told all my friends about it I was like oh my gosh you guys y'all will not believe what Nugget did y'all won't believe what Nugget did I was I was hot okay and to all you guys watching this don't do, don't do that to a girl just don't like if you are going on a date you need to be sober for it especially if it is your very first date and if you are both into that thing great but do it together like be on the same page be on the same level of mental mind state together you know you're trying to do a partnership when you go on a date right that's what you ultimately want you want to be on the same page so just make sure you're both with the same mental mind state if y'all both want to do that go for it but like don't you know just do it in secrecy and then pull up to the date not letting anybody know and then not covering it up like it's not cool it's not cool it's very unattractive and i'm sad to say i continued to talk to him after that date why i don't know we actually went on a second date that was pretty horrible too it's not really worth the whole story time so i'll just kind of hold on my camera's gonna die i don't know if i talked about this in my first video but he slowly turned into a complete a-hole to me like he just got meaner and meaner the more time went on like throughout our relationship progressed he just turned so rude and on our second date he was so 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 mean he was like throwing insults at me like stuff that you do not do to a girl that you're trying to like be within a relationship i don't know what's with people who do that who, who try to like put down their partners but that's something on my face oh no oh no i got lipstick on my face <laughs> oh my gosh okay well it's it's whatever whatever it's fine but like you don't do that to people that you're trying to date like do not insult them like you are supposed to build your partner up you are supposed to make them feel like they are the most special important person in the world you are supposed to make them feel like they are bomb af not tear them down don't do that to people don't do it okay don't do it like if you have constructive criticism for your partner give it to them in a very loving constructive way don't tear them down so anyways that second day he was like tearing me down and he was just being a complete crazy person so rude so rude i really don't know what his mo was or because i don't think he was after just trying to get with me and like just after my body i just don't think that was it i don't get that vibe and still to this day i don't think that's what he was trying to do i just think he liked the entertainment of our relationship and he liked the work the work play relationship that we had which is just crazy to me but yeah <laughs> that's pretty much the story you guys like i said he did get very very mean the more our relationship progressed so i would love to do a story time and all the crazy things he did to me because he did a lot of crazy stuff to me that i think would be even funnier to talk about because like this date like it is what it is it was just really awkward and uncomfortable but like there are far juicier things that he did that at the time was horrible and made me feel like really bad about myself but now i just look back at it and i laugh on but anyways we'll do today's shout outs and then we're gonna wrap up this video sorry if it's really long again let me know in the comments if y'all are into marvel movies again comment that spidey emoji i want to know where my marvel my marvel girlies and boys are at because i love me some marvel i love me some tom holland love me some spider-man okay <laughs> anyways let's see okay so first shout out goes out to matilda matilda said love you daisy and love your videos and your story time please can you give me a shout out love from albania thank you so much girl for all of the love and then second shout out goes out to kelsey stanley she said hey girl would love to get a shout out in your next mukbang enjoy watching all of your videos thank you so much girl thank you all so much for your support and i hope you guys enjoyed the story time let me know if y'all want to hear more but give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it hit the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys